you'll get a charge out of the clothes of the future. Scientists in South Korea have developed a flexible, foldable and wearable fabric that generates electricity as it bends and flexes. A person wearing a shirt tailored from the material only has to move around to power a small screen or other electronic devices. The advance represents an important step toward making wearable power sources a reality, says Yun Long Zi. He's a physicist at the Georgia Institute of Technology, in Atlanta, who did not work on the new fabric. In his own lab, he studies ways to harvest energy. Cell phones need batteries, but batteries have limited life, he notes. With clothing that can generate electricity, he notes, that's no longer an issue, you can make power by yourself. Sang Woo Kim led the development of this new material. He works at Sung Kyung University in Suwon, South Korea. A shirt made from the new fabric can be worn, even patched, like any other item of clothing. It feels like an ordinary jacket, he told Science News for Students. Fully equipped, it's just a tad on the heavy side, he acknowledges. That added weight comes from the electronic gizmos the researchers wired into the shirt. For tests, these included small screens, lights and even a keyless remote. Press the shirt's cuff, for instance, and the remote unlocks a car's doors. How it works The power-generating material is known as a wearable triboelectric tri-bo-electric, nano-generator, or WTNG. Here's what that means, triboelectricity refers to electricity generated by friction. Friction is the resistance encountered when one material moves over or through another material. People feel friction, in the form of heat, when they rub their hands together. In fact, the prefix tribo comes from the Greek word for rubbing. Meanwhile, nano is a prefix meaning a billionth. The material includes tiny zinc oxide rods only billionths of a meter long. Those spiky nanoparticles help convert motion into electricity. Some kinds of triboelectricity are familiar. When a person rubs her head with a balloon, her hair stands on end. That's because the balloon steals negatively charged particles called electrons from her hair. The balloon ends up with a negative charge. The hair with a positive charge. Opposite charges attract. So the positive hair stands up to reach the negative balloon. This is static electricity, and it is triboelectric. The new fabric combines different materials. The top and bottom layers are cloth coated with silver. The middle layer contains the zinc oxide coated with a polymer. A polymer is a substance whose molecules are made of long chains of repeating groups of atoms. When the fabric bends or moves, the coated rods move back and forth against the silver. The movement produces a reaction similar to that in the hair and balloon example. Here. It's the polymer layer that picks up electrons from the silver layer. The researchers connected the two outer silver layers with a wire. The wire lets a small electric current run through it. As they compressed and released the fabric, the scientists measured that current. Multiple layers of WTNG produced more electricity than single layers, they showed. The smart shirt generated enough electricity to power a small screen. It glowed. The shirt also lighted up an array of small